Hey everybody, welcome back to the Safe Haven Valley Workbench. Um, just want to do a quick update here on the project and what's going on and everything with you. Kind of give you an idea of where I'm at. It's been a little while, so uh, um, right now um, in the planning stages for other things um, but um, here's where I'm at I got the, the sidewall over here done um, and I got this is the front side facing the river the inside and this and the front here um, still work um, Doing these in stages here. So that's the main structure. Um, I still got a little work to do. Uh, I got one more little piece to put. One more piece to put on here. Um, which will then allow this to. Sit right here. Like that. So you'll have. So you'll sit right where it's supposed to be um, uh, which is this piece right here um, but up, other than that um, I've gotten the base done I gotten this the end strip done here um, I've even gotten the the posts on and if you can see it a little bit I kind of got a greenish I um I took the foam base and I spray painted it after etching kind of cracks into the foundation in the foundation here um I spray painted it with a with a um with a primer spray paint then I took my um, I took I took my dark yellow the German dark yellow wash over it and then um, I took I sponged on um, the green some green paint of the light avocado and um, just to give it kind of a, kind of like a, um, not like a slime, uh, a little bit of a slime, mossy slime color. Um, I may, I do have moss. I'm, I might be adding some moss to the rocks just, just a little bit, but usually I don't see along a river on this structure. I don't really see moss. I see more of, of, um kind of a river river slime I'm not sure what you call that but anyway I did do kind of a green to the rock with and it, and the and whatnot and then I have the 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 gray dark gray and then on this end you can see kind of more of what I did there and on the back side here I didn't go too crazy with it um but I did, you know, on on all the sides, but enough to show, enough to show um, that I got some green tint to it. Um, where I'm at now is now that I got this all glued to there, um, I'm getting ready to do um, two things. I am over the over this next week. Um, I will be trying well. Well, this week's kind of a crazy week because I have four days of work and then um, I'm going to be gone for the holiday. Um, but um, sometime next, by the time you get the next video, it'll be next week. Um, and it'll be after Mem Memorial Day. So sometime during next week, I will try to get a video in and update. But um, I got to do the... The supports on these 
once they're in um we'll get them all deck decorated and up this up to speed there um and then i will get the roofing done and get that all all done and then once that's all done and and when that gets done i'll be able to marriage the structures to the foundation then that's where um um we will um begin to uh really start working on the the other details and it will be very time consuming for me to to do the stairs in this kit let me show you oh, here's, here they are set this stuff aside So when you get into the instructions here, there are some stairs. So when I get done getting all the roofing on, um, I then will turn my attention to trimming out that uh, I'll be weathering first and then applying the strips for the edge of the decking. <clears throat> and then I'll work on the upper deck once, and then the posts once I get that in. So I'll get the roofing stuff taken care of and then I'll come down and I'll start working on this stuff here getting all that trimmed done and then I'll get the upper upper deck and those posts in and then I'll work on the stairs the stairs are are gonna be another patience game with me <laughs> so I do not do stairs very well um, in fact you know it is a very very interesting thing so what I intend to do is because the color they are is what they are. Um, I'm going to glue them. And then I'm going to um, just give them. Uh, I'm just going to glue them as they are. And then I'm going to I'm gonna just kind of weather them. For being outside. Uh, kind of thing. Um, like I intend to do for the, the little dock or pier. Or, or whatever. Um, that comes along down the road here. So on the last page, you get this little dock that's right here, floating barge or dock or whatever. Well, I got to do that and wet at all the, you know, so, um, I will have, be doing some other things. Um... So, I'm just trying to take my time on this one. There's no real rush on it. Um, um, just, just trying to make it come out looking looking good. Um, so, uh, that's pretty much a wrap for what I'm um, an update on the Ronnie's build. Um, I'm finally catching up on a little things um, today. I am going to be cutting the. Um, I'm working on the sign for Tim's uh, feed in, feed supply. That's basically it. Um, this is this is uh, Tim's feed in supply that I built. Um, so it looks pretty pretty good. It shows age. Which is my little age, you know. That's my that was my intention. So, um, so yeah, uh, working on the sign for this. I just gotta cut some supports for that, um, which I gotta measure out. Um, so I'll get the, I'll get an update on this one as complete. I should have this one complete. Um, 
and then I'll be working on Ronnie's and then um, along with Ronnie's I'll be doing the um, contest build for Frank um, I've had a few things that I've adjusted on that one um, I'm not buying anything for it I'm just using what I have so um, I'm having to do a couple different things with it um, so I intend to um, I'll, I'll make it work um, I make I have I'm using pre pre structured walls for it it's an HO build not an in scale build or an eight or an O scale um, and whatnot so uh, I'm I'm just pulling things together I do have the material and I'm using it to kit to, to back kit bash them say some things together um, so yeah we're all good um, anyway um, that is pretty much a wrap for today it's just a short video um, again I've been so busy I haven't quite finished uh, Tim's feed and supply the only thing really left on it like I said is is to get the sign attached to the building then that structure will be complete um and then ronnie's uh, i'm moving along on that um just kind of just kind of taking my time with it it gets done when it gets done i'm not i'm not too worried about it um that's just, um that's how i am on most of my builds so um but uh far as oh far as what I, I i did i do have um i have some different moss i picked up this at uh it's called it's rain it's reindeer moss um and if i pick it apart just right i can use that um uh i can use it uh, on my pier um you know if you especially if you kind of m make it mince down and whatnot um but also a long uh, a while ago i said i also had some of this stuff it's called bella it's bella moss collection syndicate home and from syndicate home and garden it's an assorted moss mix um lush creative textures soft and pliable clean and easy to use and fade resistant um it's all natural sustainably sourced and dried and preserved so it's several different types of moss so um so i'll be looking forward to trying some of this moss out you know, um, this moss right here looks to be like some good ground cover uh, with some of this here. Uh, it's just a matter of finding the right placement to use it. Um, I actually picked this up at my local uh, st uh, CV CVS pharmacy for $5.99. Um, so that's where I got that. Um, and been trying to uh pick up this this little packet of miscellaneous parts for 50 cents um at the hobby store and so this is uh this is just a, these are plastic pieces but they're they're picket fence uh most of the stuff i get there is uh h o some of it's you know so it's kind of hard uh um this here are just these little arches for buildings, so I could actually probably take this and if I did it right um I could make a piece make this a bridge this kind of an kind of an arc bridge if I really wanted to, but it's actually specifically for a building um Not too sure what these are, but 
these are like I said, there's just a lot of random things in here. But in here, I have a ladder um, that I can use, and I got some some lights which I will probably use. Um, now for the lights, these will probably um, I don't know. Uh, you can probably prime them if you want them a gray color or or something, but that's something I have to uh, to master yet is taking these and making them look like they're they're lit. Um, but there's all kinds of things here. I have a pickaxe right here and a couple other things uh, that are here. Um, and then down here, I got these card numbers. I'm not sure what the numbers are for, but um, I have these last three here are for the three things up here. So I can I can make uh, an old little clock or whatever um and then some rain some railing so i can do like a I, this is these this is the kind of railing that i remember seeing like in old uh pictures at parks or whatever you know and those painted pictures that have those rail par rails in it you can use it that rail on on a bridge you could use it on a on a on a balcony um which is probably what that's for um like i said uh, i haven't really gone through a lot of this because these are just pieces to other kits that were thrown together in a bag and i picked it up so um these i uh, probably will be used and you know i could probably use them in like a uh, special scratch builds you know um windows you know these could be a window like that or I can put them in like that so um but anyway and then these look like um I'm not sure what they look like they're just extra pieces um so sometimes you just get lucky and you find parts that that work and whatever doesn't you just you just recycle or get rid of um so the just wanted to bring those back out and share those i still have these that i, I can use um and i will probably get to them at some point um i never know what i'm gonna find when i go in there um so but uh yeah uh that is pretty much it for today guys uh, just wanted to do an update on Ronnie's and kind of an update on Tim's feed and supply. Um, Tim's will be done um, probably this week. Uh, Ronnie's will, is uh, moving along fine. So uh, if you are doing Frank's uh, build contest, uh, a, rem a rem friendly reminder that starts june 1st and it, there are no exceptions to extending the deadline which is july 1st you have 30 days to complete a structure build and get it entered or a diorama um if you need uh information on this you can reach out to frank um at mud creek models um if you're not part of the groups, you can find us at uh, Mud Creek Models um, on Facebook or Mud Creek uh, Railroad, and we will be happy. To, he'll be he will be happy to get you joined in if you're not part of the group. But uh, he has it posted there. You can reach out to him on on that and see. Um, and uh, if you just want to find out generic information about it you can just ask the question and he will get back to you or one of us will get back to you um with a reply um 
that are partaking in that contest. Um, so from what I uh, understand, um, it's going to be fun. And like I said, I, I, I just enjoy partaking, you know, win or lose. Um, because in, at the end of it, I, I win anyway because I have a completed another structure. Um, so that's what I take away from it. So uh, I do know f there are two winners from that contest, one from each category, one for a diorama and one for a structure build. So I wish you all luck and uh, let's just all have fun with this. And, you know, and just be happy that uh, we're all sharing the hobby that we love so much. Um, so until next week, guys, you guys have a safe week. Have a good Memorial Day weekend. Um, get some family time in if, if you can. Um, and we will talk to you soon. All right, guys, have a wonderful next week.